Hello everyone. Today uh, in the topic uh, leveling, we are going to discuss what is balancing of sides, error due to curvature of the earth and refraction. Then uh, we are going to see what is the distance to visible horizon. So let's move on and see what are the this uh, topics. Now what is balancing of sight? Now let us say this is a typical way of presenting your level instrument in which we have an objective lens here then uh, no it, it, in which we have an eyepiece lens over here from which you are going to look over then this is the lens which is going to be faced towards your point or the station where the staffs will be held upon then this is the level tube for which you have you have a bubble uh, the, the the level you have to maintain a level here in order to have a correct reading or uh, to maintain a horizontal level now this is your i uh, this is your line of sight or the line of uh, collimation line then this is your uh, level tube axis the axis of the level tube so whenever you are going to do a leveling the in, in in order to maintain the correctness both these lines should be parallel the line of sight and the axis of level tube both of them should be parallel so the distance between both of them should be equal and it should be parallel but due to some defects or due to some error these uh, both of these lines is sometimes not at all parallel or the parallelism of both the line is not achieved so it may form a something like tilting due to error it may have some kind of tilting like this so when an instrument has error in line of collimation upward or downwards the staff reading error becomes bigger with increase in distance whenever you increase the distance the the, the the readings on the staff becomes bigger and it will increase with a distance this is your simple geometric uh, geometry or trigon you can also refer in the, the the rules for trigonometry then for the same distance the error will be equal however if you are measuring for the same distance the error will be equal so now this 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 point is particularly very important if the distance between the level staff and the instrument your level instrument if both the distance you are going to measure for several points if both the distance is equal then the error amount of error will be also equal so now balancing can be done by eliminating the non parallelism of the line of collimation and the axis of level tube now how do we can how we can manage the manage to eliminate the error is one way or other you can use one is permanent adjustment or another one is adjusting it by physically so now let us see one type of uh, eliminating the uh, error due uh, uh, the error due to the uh, this thing upward tilting or the downward tilting of the collimation so now when the true difference in elevation between two stations is to be found out with an instrument having collimation error the instrument may be set up exactly in the middle or the halfway between the two stations now when we are having two stations and we are going to measure the true elevation in between true elevation difference between the two elevation which is having a collimation error now if we measure it without collimation error the difference should come up to be exactly true however if there is some kind of collimation error then we will not have the true elevation or the difference will not be correct at all so now let's see by this the error is balanced hence it gives the true the true elevation now if you place the instrument in between 
the two stations which is exactly at the midpoint or the halfway between the two stations then we can balance the error or we can eliminate the error or we can check uh, the we can make both the errors equal now how we will have it we will just see a particular diagram now let, let us say this is a, a level ground or this is a particular level sur surface of the earth where you have a station a where you have a staff here then you have a station b where the staff is again hold there so now in the midway in between this you have positioned the instrument like this now this is your this should be your line of sight or the collimation line however this is the line of sight which is having which is having some collimation error so now this will be our false line of sight which is making slightly an angle alpha so now the distance between a to the instrument and the distance between the b to the instrument is equal so now you can you can apply uh, some sim simple trigonometric formula here now d10 alpha will be equal d110 alpha will be equal to d210 alpha which is nothing but your the value of the error which is represented by small e now error in this particular uh, leveling is e is equals to d110 alpha which should be equals to d210 alpha now i guess this is one of the way you solve the you do the process of balancing so now let us see what is the error due to curvature of the earth and refraction of the line of sight now earth is quite the the earth is quite uh, big and we will have some kind of error due to the curvature or the curvedness of the earth and even for the light rays when you see a particular object the light rays will it, ha it happens to be refracted in the atmosphere so now from the definition of level surface and horizontal line it is evident that a horizontal line departs from level surface because of the curvature of the earth because of the curvature of the earth the horizontal li line is departing from the level surface now also in the long sights when we are observing for long distances the horizontal line of sight does not remain straight but it is slightly bent toward downwards having a concavity towards the earth surface due to refraction now due to refraction when we observe for long distances the horizontal line of sight will not remain straight and it will tend to bend downwards slightly having a concavity which is towards the earth surface due to refraction now due to the curvature of the earth also the staff readings are greater than the true reading and also due to refraction the line of sight is curved downward towards the earth now how this it will look how does it will look like in actual leveling let us see now let us see how does it happens in actual with a pictorial representation now here it is the surface of the earth on which we place a point on which we place a staff at point P then here is your instrument then the distance between the instrument and your point P is given by small d so this is your horizontal line then due to refraction the line of sight will look like this and due to the curvedness or the curvature of the earth the the level surface will be something like this which is represented by your yellow dotted line the next the error due to refraction is given by your this portion which is ac then also the error due to the curvature of the earth is given by your portion ab now let us see what are the values of this error due to refraction and error due to 
curvature of the earth so error due to curvature of the earth let's see the picture again here the error due to curvature of the earth is represented by the portion a b from the figure error due to curvature of the earth is equals to a b so it is given by c c that is the error due to curvature of the earth is given by the formula d square divided by twice r which is always subtractive in nature now where where d small d is the distance of the station from the instrument and r is your radius of the earth that is 6370 kilometer which approximately now we know we have this formula and we will calculate what is the error due to curvature of the earth now the next thing is to find out what is the error due to refraction of the refraction and the combined error because of both of them so now again let us see the picture here the refraction error is represented by the portion ac from the figure error due to refraction is equals to ac which is given by the formula cr that is nothing but your refract error due to refraction is equals to 1 by 7 times of cc that is your uh, error due to curvature of the earth now substituting the value of cc it comes up to like this which hence we will combine later the combined error due to refraction and due to curvature of the earth so you just subtract the value of error due to curvature of the earth and error due to refraction we will get this value we just substitute cc value and cr value we will get a value like this so the combined error due to curvature of the earth and the refraction of the line of sight is given by c equals to 6 by 7 into d square by twice r so now this is the way you calculate the combined error for curvature of the earth and refraction of the line I think up to this you have clear idea then next let us move to another now let us see what is distance to the visible horizon so now distance to visible horizon concept is something like up to what distance the visibility or up to what your horizon your your line of sight will be there so now let us see this particular figure in which a is a point and p is another point of observation then the distance between p and a is d so i can let's see a little bit more uh, clearly so let p is the point of observation then a is a point on the horizon where a tangent from P meets the level line so from P if you draw a tangent it will meet at A so now distance D D is the distance of the visible horizon from point of observation P so from P to A it is the distance given by small d now what is the formula for the height that is height is h is the height of the point p for point p the height is small represented by small h now then the value for the height is given by 6 by 7 times of d square divided by twice r which is somewhat similar to our value of combined error due to refraction and curvature of the earth now you just interchange this in order to find out what is the value of d so now the value of d is equals to root over 14 times rh and divided by 6 where r is your radius of the earth which was equals to 6370 kilometers then h is your height of the point p so now this is the way in which you have to find out the distance to visible horizon now 
this comes to the end of this particular lecture in the next video lecture we will discuss some problem in which we will be using all these error due to refraction error due to curvature of the earth and distance to visible horizon i hope you have enjoyed the video uh, thank you everyone and let's meet up on the next video